Uh, October. Great month if you like to do art. Because there's Inktober, of course. And then, if you like, if you want to, you can dress up as any character you want and make a costume for any character you want for Halloween. So it's lots of fun. And I didn't post at all in October. I mean, I posted a couple of shorts, but no long videos. So I thought to make up for that, I would do not necessarily a vlog, but a review of sorts of the month and how I did with Inktober and all that stuff. So how did Inktober go for me? Well, it didn't, it didn't really go at all, to be honest. For those who don't know, Inktober is basically where you draw something every day based on a prompt that's given by the official official Inktober prompts board or whatever. I think they're voted on. I'm not sure. It's for every day of October, so 31 days in total, 31 prompts that you draw from. And the idea is technically to draw it in ink, like with a pen. But you can all, you can honestly draw it any way you want. You can draw it digitally, you can draw it with graphite, charcoal, any medium you want. Do you want to guess how many days I was able to do Inktober? One. Yep, that's right, one. Now, drum roll please for the one drawing I did for Inktober. This was it. I did go with a traditional pen and ink and I kind of just sketched it up real quick to knock it off and mark it off or whatever. It does not look right at all. The It was for day 22, which the prompt was camp. It's like, oh, I'm gonna draw this cool thing like with people around a campfire. That sounds really fun. And I just rushed through it and only drew one person and it looks really bad. The campfire looks okay. Just, yeah. And even the four sharpenings, okay. Just the back of the person just doesn't look great at all. But hey, at least I did one day rather than zero. So I consider that an accomplishment, but it's definitely very far from my best work. And since I rushed through it, I didn't really learn much from it or anything, but at least I did can say that I technically participated in Inktober this year. I have only like, what, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pages left, something like that, in the sketchbook that I've been using for over a year shows you how much I draw and I really need to pick it back up again and Inktober was supposed to do that but it didn't. I was also trying to do if you saw a bunch of shorts where it's like oh I'm drawing I'm posting a short I was actually drawing every day but I'm posting a short every day until I fill my sketchbook. Well that lasted two days but you know I'll get there eventually. It's always satisfying to start a new sketchbook and don't think these are dated, but these were from about a year ago. A year ago in September, so maybe a year and two months. But soon I'll have it finished. And next up was Halloween, and I did have a costume party to go to, so I had to make a costume. And I didn't really know what I was going to be. Typically around Halloween, I just take my favorite character, or a character that I can dress up as, from whatever book series I read recently, most recently, because that ends up being like, you know, my favorite book series at the moment. And I had just finished Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. So therefore I decided to dress up as Ben. But I was also like, nobody's gonna recognize who I am. So I made another costume based on Lord of the Rings, kind of generic Lord of the Rings isk costume. So that was a fun thing that I did. So first up is my cloak that I made after Mistborn. It's a bit, um, was supposed to be Ben, of course, just because, yeah, it's the main character. Made sense. But yeah, it is typical Miss Cloak. It was fun to make. I just bought fabric and then cut it like this. And I don't know how to sew, so I used clothespins and even managed to sew a hood, if you can see that. Also, since coins are an important part of the book and using them for powers and stuff, I got a little pouch and then bought some chocolate gold coins as a fun touch, which I forgot to bring to show my friends. So that was sad, but hey, now I have chocolate golden coins to eat, which I don't, I don't, I feel like I've tried them before, they're not actually good, but yeah. And 
then my backup costume was this just generic Lord of the Rings one. I wasn't any, gonna go for any specific character, I just thought this was cool. I literally just bought fluffy green fabric and then bought this pin on the inside and used it to tie it together. It was really simple. I didn't end up using it, I went with the bed costume because I worked harder on that. But my friend didn't know what she wanted to be, so I gave her this and she dressed up as Sam, which was really cool and really fun. And I felt proud of myself for making one of my costume pieces. So there's that. It ended up not being waste. And you know, I might wear it eventually once sometime just for fun. And well, that was my October. Since I was really busy for most of the month, I didn't get a ton done, but I did show what I did get done. And I'm hoping I did actually start on some videos, but like they're really long videos, they're taking forever to up or to edit. So that's why I haven't uploaded them yet because they're not done yet. But I'm hoping I'll get be able to get those done. I have my ultimate list of book recommendations hopefully coming soon. If I can finish up or if, if I can finish editing that. So look forward to that. That's gonna be a long video. Right now it's at an hour but there's about an hour maybe 15 minutes there's a lot I need to trim down and a lot I need to edit out so it'll probably be maybe even half that once it's done but it's still gonna be one of my longer videos but I'm excited for it and I'm excited to finally get some other videos released also during October I posted a few community posts and then speech my speechless videos suddenly started getting views again so that was weird and now it's at like 50,000 plus views and I'm getting like 300 watch hours a month and all this crazy stuff and I don't really understand it because the YouTube algorithm literally makes zero sense but that is something that happened I posted hardly anything all month but then I'm getting like more views and watch hours YouTube explain please but anyway yeah I'm hoping to get more videos posted if I have time this month and next month and the rest of the year so look forward to those thanks for watching this update video i hope you enjoyed it bye